Okay, today is a very exciting day. I'm excited to bring you along. This morning, I went for a nice walk. I went for an hour-long walk. I got four miles in, which was great. I feel more successful after I get a run-in, but let's be honest, like, I'm not Casey Neistat. I can't go on like 26 mile runs. Like I, I don't know how he does that. I aspire to be like that. This summer I feel like I was like getting to six miles and I literally like felt like I was Casey Neistat. I'm trying to figure out my morning routine here because especially with the workouts, you guys know me, like I love to work out. It just makes me feel super good. And I, I have like a lot of energy in here and like if I don't work out for the day like I, things are just weird like I need to get myself I was listening to, on Joe Rogan's podcast the Miley Cyrus and he was like dude you need to do some like high intensity like level workout because you just have a lot of energy and I was like me that's literally me this morning I woke up I was supposed to go to Soul Cycle I didn't because I was lazy and I stayed up really late last night buying things apparently like when I stay up late I either text guys that like I should not be texting like I do things that embarrass myself so I either text guys that I shouldn't be or I like buy things that I shouldn't be buying so it's like which you know less of two evils like which one do you want to do I actually did need the comforter that I purchased I ordered all new podcast equipment for my brother and I because I told you guys about what I wanted to do with the podcast with him and he agreed he's super excited I talked to my team about it they're super excited you guys seem to be excited so I ordered all new podcast equipment I have my HelloFresh out which by the way this isn't sponsored but it should be so I'm just gonna get my shit together I'm having a bunch of friends by the way all my clothes are in the background because I like to let a lot of things air dry because I don't don't want them to shrink my skin is like looking pretty clear which i love that i just did get some beauty counter products i'm gonna try their um, tinted moisturizer i've been using foundation you guys i've just been using tinted moisturizer this um tart one i'm obsessed with it's so light really just like hydrating to my skin and doesn't get like crackly or oily or anything i also got the morphe 2 foundation which is th is anyone talking about how like liquidy this is it's like a little bit concerning this is like a freaking it's like water but like I weirdly like it because it's so thin. I will say though, if I still had my like hormonal as horrible acne that I had, this would not cut it. Oh, cute packaging. Beauty counter has stepped up their packaging, like way less old lady now. I feel like it's like cool. This is like, reminds me of like Kylie Cosmetics a little. I'm sure they got some inspo from, but I just think it's really cute. Been only using this palette. I know it's dirty, but it's because it's been in my makeup bag and like, Oh. And fun fact, I'm sure my sound fact. I, I can't say it. I can't say it. I can't say fun facts without saying actually really sad facts. Like I really can't. Emma Chamberlain, the queen herself, who I'm like obsessed with, she br pulled this out. I'm pretty sure in her collab with James Charles, this palette, and I was like, shut the fork up. I use that. Do skin tinted moisturizer lotion with hydrant. I I don't know what this is. I. <laughs> I don't know how to read. <laughs> this looks dark, but hopefully when I blend it in. Oh. Oh, this is this is really light. This actually does feel like a tinted moisturizer where I feel like the tart one feels like a really, really light foundation. Do you know what I mean? This smells so good. Oh my what does this smell like? Certified freak. I'm not gonna lie, my Wi-Fi is WAP and the password is certified freak. I think I'm funny. <laughs> I just can't wait till I have my parents come over and I'm like, they're like, what's the Wi-Fi password, Taylor? I'm like, oh, it's fine, I'll just share it with you. I'm like, certified freak. I'll be like, what the hell? What kind of person did we raise? This is what it looks like. Not full coverage, but kind of dig it. Okay, I feel like now's a good time for me to do the thing, and then when I go like this, you'll see me with makeup on. Ready? <gasps> Voila! Makeup is done. Um, I have on Juicy Tubes Lancome. And I was talking to one of my besties, Tanner, from back home, one of my, like, best family guy friends, while I cooked my HelloFresh meal. You guys. Very excited to show you something that I received in the mail a few days ago and I've been trying to not show it because I want it to be like a big reveal and I, I, I'll just show you. <laughs> You guys, 
I got a new couch. Oh my god, it's so pretty! So sorry the lighting's so harsh, but like, it's so pretty. I can't get over like how stunning it is. You know what's great about it? Is that I can move it around. <laughs> this is so weird, like having this in the background. So, my roommate and I actually got our sofa in. I'm actually so excited about it. I was a little like worried about getting it to be honest at first. Like I kind of wanted a cloud couch dupe and I'm really glad that my roommate was pushing me to go out of my comfort zone instead of being like the basic bitch that I am. And we got this epic, like trendy, modern. I feel like this is so blogger cool she this couch is too cool for me so cool like everyone that walks in is like what like i feel like if there's anywhere to have like a statement bomb ass like look at me i'm cool couch is in this apartment because it's just like the windows are a lot the couch is a lot like i feel like the rest of the place will try and decorate very minimalist and clean but the couch is just such a statement piece of furniture i'm so excited about it. My biggest concern was that it wouldn't be comfy to lay this way because this way I knew this is like, it like dips in. So I knew it would be super comfy to lay in. I was most concerned about me laying like this. Like if we had guests over and we needed somewhere to sleep, I was like, oh my gosh, is this not gonna be comfy? Because it like dips and it comes up, dips and it comes up, dips and it comes up. I feel like I'm like getting a painting like, painted of me right now. If you have a pillow, it like will bring you up so that you're like sleeping nice and cozy. And like, honestly, this part actually feels like it would be better for my back to be laying like that anyway. This corner is definitely my favorite spot. This corner is everything. Both my roommate and I are obsessed with it. And when one of us is in here, the other one just is like, not having the best time because you're not in this corner. Like I genuinely wish we had two of these corners because it like, I just feel like I'm in a little cube. The whole way around it is windows, which is so fun because when I wake up in the morning, I literally just come in this corner and I'll get some editing done before I go to work. I just love how all these windows are surrounding and it's just like I'm in a cloud. And then this also looks like a cloud, like the actual couch does. I'm obsessed. Another concern of mine was like, if we get a white or like cream-ish couch, I'm a messy person. Me wearing white and cream is just like a little bit scary to begin with. I'm worried about this fuzzy, beautiful, comfy fabric. Just about like me being slobby and getting stuff on it. And then also like all of my guy friends coming over. I'm like, uh, I don't want them like ruining my sofa. But after sitting on this for multiple days, I literally immediately knew this would be such a good fabric to have as a sofa because it's actually very, not rough, it's it's super soft, but you can tell like if I were to spill something on it, it wouldn't be that hard to get out, which I'm very excited about. This fabric feels like cozy, warm and buttery. It doesn't feel like I'm it, it's gonna pill or anything's gonna like come out of it. Like it feels really durable and nice. And so I'm super excited about having just a nice cozy cloud-like space up here. Give me the curves, honey. I want all the curves. I want a thick, juicy, buttery couch, and I feel like that's what I got, and I'm so excited. So yeah, I would highly recommend checking out Cardiel. Another thing that I love about this couch is that it is modular. As you can see right now, it's like a U, but I can like adjust it however I want, which I'll show you. Anytime I do like an up angle, I just think of Charlie D'Amelio. Don't be shy, put some more. Just another sunny day. So like, I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it was because I like that so far, but technically I could move it every which way, which has its pros and cons. One is because that means that it'll move around by itself or like even when I just jump on it, it like kind of slides. <laughs> so I have a solution for this. It's actually a really big one. Also, I just want to kindly note that this rug 
from Ruggable came so quickly and so did the sofa and every other furniture company that I'm buying from right now is taking forever. Just wanted you to know that in case you're thinking about buying furniture. These two companies came so quickly. Oh my God, you guys, I know I just put so much hype around this going underneath the couch. This is the rug for my room. <laughs> so let's put it in my room. It's like nice and gray and black and just, ah. Uh, Feels so good. The other one I got for the living room is like gray and dark too. That's why I thought it was um, this one. I'm sure it's on its way and it'll get here pretty soon. So once I get it, I will vlog it and try and insert that here. so big that it like barely fits in here. Okay, a lot of time has passed and I'm freezing, so I'm going to put some sweatpants on. Okay, get your so extra joggers at shopfeliciamarie.com. Okay, you guys, I've made a little bit of progress. I've been watching YouTube. I'm watching Maggie McDonald right now. I've been obsessed with just watching YouTube lately. Like I was just binging Mike, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he's on Impulsive. He's like my favorite person on Impulsive. I've been obsessed with the podcast in general. I think it's so fire. I've been watching him. I've been watching Maggie. Tidying up my room. It looks like a mess, but I promise I've made progress. So Avi, here's my air mattress. And then over here are like bins, like the final few bins that I'm, of stuff I'm keeping that I need to organize and put away. I've acquired this clothing rack because Morgan Yates actually just moved and gave the, it to me because I was like, oh my God, this could kind of look cute here. And if not, then I can put it over here within the hallway with the rest of the clothing racks that we got from Morgan. And they have these sick shelves. I'll try and find them on, I think she got them either from Target or Amazon. And they're just really nice. And we just needed storage in here and like no one ever comes back here like to hang out so it's like the perfect place to have other like extra storage I'm going to put my rug finally down now that I've tidied up a little so I'm gonna think I'm gonna put my like bed against my closet here yeah. empty bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night we got a little drunk yeah now I'm a little numb By a bedside, taking to the dark out. Oh, wow! Wait, Can get you so off cool. my mind. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna have to move a lot more than I thought I was going to have to, so enjoy this time lapse moving, satisfying thing. I look creepy because of the sleigh. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't really know anymore how to feel something again. Think I'm just scared to fall in. No one knows. Ah, fork. Ah, this was supposed to be a satisfying shot. Come on. There we go. I don't really know anymore how to be more than your friend. This thing is incredible. I'm just scared to fall in. Don't wanna go. Okay, you guys, I have the like bottom velcro y part done. It took me a while because I had to move like all of this stuff out of the room. As you can see, I'm very out of breath. But now I'm going to lay the actual like design part of the rug over top. And what's so great about Ruggable is that literally it's machine washable. So like when it gets dirty, all I have to do is just like rip off the top and throw it in the wash. Now I'm gonna add that part. Early mornings in your dome, I'll be sticking at the door while the sun Okay, you guys, it was so easy. I moved this side over here and I've just been like flattening it out. I actually love the way it looks. Uh, I've been listening to the Dak Shepard and Tom Brady podcast. It's so good. I highly recommend it. Yay, I love it. Now I'm just gonna like rearrange my room back to like kind of how it was and then watch some TV slash YouTube and eat some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's had a fair share of like pretty tough injuries. Thank you.